think um, our intent and there's some significant moments the team can grow from. Little things like you know, Roger Hayden, that bump in the middle of the ground. Michael Johnson pouncing on that ball down low and kicking a goal. Uh, the intent that Mellington displayed in his first game. Um, Silvani, first game back, the, what the job he had to do on Brown once we lost McFarlane. Pavlic kicking five goals, you know, really leading from the front. Reese Palmer doing a good job on power. Um, you know, and it wasn't, a, it wasn't the most flattering win, but it's sometimes you need to do it tough. But at the moment, we're still probably giving away or giving the opposition too much of a look more than we would like at this stage. But, you know, the character and the growth of the team to be able to overcome that tonight was significant in last quarter. You know, two goals, eight plus two on the full. We've already lost two players, so we don't have to talk about the last quarter. What do you mean by giving them a <coughs> Well, even not kicking straight. They're, they're classified as turnovers too. But it's more trying to, you know, shovel off the handball which put your teammate under pressure that we need to work on, those sort of things. And tonight was a difficult night because it was slippery. But you know, if you're going to be professional, it doesn't matter what the conditions are. And you try to simplify your game plan based around the conditions. So, but we, we were trying to overcomplicate it, when, um, particularly in the first half. Um, McFarlane's probably, at this stage, just an aggra aggra aggravation to a grind. So. I'd say maybe two weeks, that's what they were saying. Aaron's um, re-injured the, the same injury. Um, however, we are going to look at perhaps sending him to Melbourne um, to see a surgeon. Possibly we might stitch it this time and um, that might be a better process, as in, he, the, as in the ligament. Did he re-injure or did he feel it going again? No, he said it was fantastic up until the point of time when it grabbed him, which was, I think, just taking off. So, yeah, he, there's no long-term effect. That's what I did get from the doctor. So we'll we'll try a different way, perhaps this time. What's the length of time? Probably the same length of time, but to know that it would be knitted would be, yeah, a lot better result. So what gets knitted? The, the ligament. The ligament. Yeah, yeah. So to the bike. No, 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 just a ligament. Yeah, yeah. So, Mark, all things considered, it's a pretty gutsy win. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. It's been the physical side and still got some champion players in their team and the younger players are growing. Any, any win in this competition is not easy. Um, we're not, still not satisfied with the up and down motion of our season, so we've got the Gold Coast this week, so I told the boys to make sure that they prepare for the game now. How do you, as a coach, how do you feel to get Sam Lanton and McFarlane sitting on the bench? Yeah, I mean, reality is it's happened a lot to us this year. We've lost, you know, one or two players particularly early in the game. So it's not um, something we haven't had to deal with before. So I guess the team braces itself for that. Mark, you're taking like, a lot of long shots of goal towards the end there. And you obviously seem to be missing that coming forward without the Valentine. Um, and that. Uh, are your stocks of crumbing forward sort of dangerously low? Now we know that Walters is gone now with the PCL. Well, Ballantyne's back next week. Ballantyne, yeah, but he's mm. sort of been a bit suspect off and on with his hamstring, hasn't he? Yeah, but he'll be right next week. I thought Mellington was really good down there too. Mm. I think in time, Main and Fife might be crumbing players when we get the, some stability down there. Um, that's always an area that you need to improve. I think the real interesting part is we're starting to see a lot of soft tissue injuries, aren't we? Maybe reflective of capping rotations. Mm. Uh, I think, it, and it seriously has to be looked at. You, you think that's uh, well, you, I mean, you have a look. You have a look. It's taking its toll, and um, you know, coaches don't raise it for. They know exactly what what's going on behind the scenes with their players, and from a GPS point of view, etc. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll we'll compare. At the end of the year. You had a tough decision with Griffin and Clark to be played. Mm. Is Clark's last quarter 
Yeah, I told Zach at three-quarter time, Aaron obviously not coming back, back on the ground, that he had to take the mantle and assume the number one ruck position for the whole of the last quarter. I, mean, I, th yeah, I thought he did it. I mean, sometimes it's little um, roles like that that means that they understand that it's so important to the team. So it's what Zach learns from it. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I just think that whatever the availability is, that uh, provided everyone's on top of their game and they're, they're becoming the best footballer they can, then, then it shouldn't matter. But if it goes too deep, it can matter. Well, the thing. The thing is, uh, no, I'd say Grover would be back next week. And I thought, you know, Silvani was terrific. In fact, even when McFarlane does come back, if those two hold their own down there, I'll be putting McFarlane forward. Barlow, Barlow and Zungu, what are the uh, would be a big chance, yeah, I'd say. Um, I'd say Barlow, we'll just see how he is, but it wouldn't surprise me if he did get up. But I can't give you a, a percentage at the moment. Is he just... Yes. Generally less or yeah, yeah, there's nothing else. Nothing else. And nothing else. Oh, yeah, he's right. Yeah. Mark, do you sort of start tearing your hair out with the, the amount of behinds and that you score? It's sort of been the Achilles heel all this season that you haven't been able to put that score ball pressure on in a lot of games by sort of missing chances at key points. Well, you probably know that when you play the, the top sides, which is nothing against Brisbane, but you, you won't get away with it. Simple as that. Uh, optimistic. He's a sort of a guy that doesn't show too much weakness about uh, this disappointment of doing it, having the same injury again. Um, I think what the team can do in the short term is make sure that um, that we sustain or, or, or give ourselves an opportunity to play at the end of the year. That's that's what the team can do for him, which overrides the, a little bit of disappointment he'd be going through at the moment. Mm. He's a, um, you know, I've always rated this kid highly and um, it was unfortunate, the injury that he had and uh, he brings aggression and he brings, I mean, to, for him to sort of out-muscle Brown at times down there, first game back, uh, ideally we were going to, Silvani was going to be sub for Roger, that's where we were going with it, he had to stay out there and play you know, and this is another thing with rotations, but um, he had to stay out there and I think it was th maybe three occasions they'd gone to Brown within five minutes and he sort of outplayed him. So I think that will give the team a lot of confidence knowing that Luke might be out for a couple of weeks. How much is going on? Fantastic. Yeah. You know, midfield, forward. I mean, the, the, I mean the, the issue that we need to work on is our centre squares. It was 19-4 their way. Um, but it was his ability to be able to kick goals when the team needed it to, be physical in around the midfield. And then when there was moments in the game where perhaps it looked like Brisbane were going to get on top of us, I thought that he he asserted him really well in that, in that, in that area of the game. That's probably the number one area that I look for him. Sorry, um, do you sort of get the feeling that his eyes just lit up when he kicked that 60 metre goal in the last few weeks where he's got a bit of criticism and maybe mm -hmm. just sort of I think um, sometimes when a guy gets some criticism like um, he has over the last couple of weeks, it's probably a good time to praise him and tell him how good he is. He, he learned uh, a, a really good lesson tonight, Reese, and um, the, the, under, the understanding of doing that type of role for the team is so important. And, I think it'll be the making of Reese as his career goes on. Those sort of jobs. Mm.